Now we want one other breakpoint. I'm gonna change the browser size here until we get to that point. So right about here, about 670 pixels, our forward and left navigation start to drop off. So I think we can combine a couple of things here to drop the width of this content. We can both move the next and previous icons back in, and we can also drop this image. So the way we did the forward and left navigation, if we go ahead and inspect the element here, we're using this selector and setting right to negative 50 pixels. If we unselect that, you see the icon moving in. So if we go to our code here, that's going to be right here. And then we also are setting it in the hover right here. Even though we are designing right now for the desktop and then moving down to the mobile, as we add our breakpoint here, which we'll put in all four of these selectors, it would make sense to use a min width breakpoint instead of a max width, since the default styling is what we want until we get to the point where the browser has the minimum width of the 670 pixels or so. So the way we can do this is by just wrapping a breakpoint around our right offset here. So I'll do include and then breakpoint. And now let's set the value as a variable here. So we'll set breakpoint and let's call it smallest. I'm just trying to be kind of descriptive with the variable here. And let's add that value here. So breakpoint smallest. And again, because we're not setting max width, this will default to min width in the media query that it generates. And then here, let's put our offset. So again, a way we can read this breakpoint is as long as the browser has a minimum width of 670 pixels, will set the right navigation off a bit. Otherwise, it will just be the default. So now let's copy this down to our other styles. I'll add this breakpoint here and paste it around this left offset. And we'll do the same thing for the hover offsets here. I'll just wrap the breakpoint around them. Okay, we'll save this, jump back to the browser and refresh. And you can see at this small size that the next and previous icons are showing within the context of the slideshow instead of bumping out. And then as we get bigger and we hit past that breakpoint smallest size, so the 670 pixels, the forward and back icons bump to the outside of the content. Cool. So the only thing we have left to do is to also hide this avatar as soon as we get to that breakpoint. So I'll inspect the element and this is going to be our snippet author thumb. 